Hello everyone, my name is Layla, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Um, in this video, uh, the original idea that I had for this house kind of got changed halfway. Um, originally, I had wanted it to be uh, a house that was just for seasons more so. It was almost like a holiday house kind of thing, and I wanted it just to have base game and seasons, and that was it. And I think like halfway through, I kind of just ended up changing my mind, and I just decided on making this a family house, like a cute, small family house, and um, yeah, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I used more than just seasons and um, seasons and base game. I'm pretty sure I used more than just that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Um, the roofing and like getting the overall shape in the beginning was also kind of hard for me, especially with the chimney on the side. I couldn't decide like where I wanted to put it. I didn't know if I wanted to put it there or like by the garage, like on top of the garage. I decided on doing it on the left side of the house, but the way it is, like with the little bump out, it looks kind of weird just being on the side there because of the gap between the main roof and that small little roof section there. And so it, it looked weird, but I kind of was just like, nah, never forget it. Um, this is one of the easier houses that I've built in terms of like getting the proportions right on the first try and like the, um, like the windowing placements and stuff. It, it, it looks nice overall. I think later on in the video I ended up taking that door out so that back porch isn't actually accessible. Uh, accessible, sorry. <laughs> Can't talk. Um, and then I ended up um, moving around the windows and stuff to make it even because the way the, the rooms are made upstairs, the way, like, the only way that I can do it, the child's bedroom has a door to the ver uh, veranda area, basically, the porch area in the back. And I didn't want that, so I just decided to take it out at the end. Um, this house took me so long to build, too. It took me two hours. I, d I, I didn't even expect it to take that long. I was on such a roll in the beginning, like, in terms of building and stuff. I had built, like, the shell in 15 minutes, and I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be easy, we're gonna get it done quick. And then, I didn't. <laughs> I don't even know what happened, like... Everyone, like, my family came in, and, like, everyone was bothering me, and... Because, like I said before, I, my PC is in my living room. I don't have it, like, in my room by, by myself. So, I'm out in the, like, living area where everyone is. And so, people were just, you know, walking in and out of the kitchen. Everyone was just bothering me, and I got distracted. And <laughs> so, that's probably why. <laughs> but, um, other than that... This was, this was one of the better houses that I, I built. Because before, like, the way that I, I build is I base it off of houses that I've done before, or, like, I base it off of real-world houses, and, like, I need other things for inspiration. But this one I just did off the top of my head. And so I was, I was really proud. Like, I kind of just went into it. There was no real, like, game plan. I just went into it, and I just built. <laughs> so I think I did pretty good. Also, like, the video format of this all is different, like, there's gonna be screenshots at the end. I actually took time to do those. I remembered to take them, um, so there's gonna be screenshots at the end and stuff, and... Overall, this video is a lot better than the rest, and I was able to get a good thumbnail this time. I figured out how to, um, do the cheat with the mailbox in, in um, MC... Blah, I can't talk. In MC Command Center to change the weather. So that way I could actually get good screenshots. Um, which is awesome. <laughs> before, I, I struggled with that before. And if you look back on some of my earlier build videos, like, the thumbnails. I had, to, I had to severely edit the thumbnails to make them look brighter and stuff. Because I had taken them and like it was cloudy out or something. It's the one bad thing about seasons. It messes up your screenshots big time um but yeah like in like my old videos they were just they were really bad 
but now I can actually do it good because I know the cheat. So I'm happy about that. Um, I also couldn't decide on what I wanted to do for like the pathway leading up to the front porch. I, it actually made me really mad. Like nothing was looking good, nothing was looking right. I settled on that in the end, but the um, the little stone pass in the end, but it still made me mad. <laughs> I wish they added more in terms of like the terrain tools, like different patterns and stuff for like the paths and stuff. That would make my life so much easier. They need more variety, especially in like a lot, with like a lot of their older things. They need more variety. The terrain paint being one of them. Like just like a nice big upgrade to the base game terrain paint would be absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, so if you see here how I was doing it, the door was in the, the kids' bedroom, basically, and uh, it was annoying. I didn't want to take it out. I really didn't, because I wanted to make the back porch accessible and stuff. But what are you going to do? It was either, because of where everything was, it was either going to be in the kids' room, in the bathroom, or in the toddler's room. And I was like, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Also, sorry for all the pauses and stuff you see in the video. That's me getting distracted. <laughs> that is straight up me getting distracted or someone interrupting me or bothering me. Uh, I can't pause the, on OBS and because of like the settings that I have. I can't pause the videos, which sucks. So I would do that otherwise. So that way the videos were that uh, the video isn't like you know there's like pauses in the video and stuff. Um. I keep saying um and like a lot, and stuff. Those are three words that I say way too often. In terms of like the theme in this house, I kept it relatively like, see there I go again, like, Jesus. I keep it, rel I, I kept it relatively to a theme, I guess, like, not really a theme, but like, but an overall, style maybe that's the correct term to use um like i used a lot of browns and stuff in this in this house because i wanted to keep it you know with the ooh family base game seasons holiday themes that i had in my mind i guess and i think my issue is that i combined too many themes into one and then it just doesn't look good so, but I, I think with this house, I managed it pretty well. Man, this kitchen made me mad. Because I couldn't figure out what to put. Using just base game after you used all the expansion packs for so long is so difficult. Like, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to put there. Everything just looked so boring and bland and stuff. And it made me mad. Um... It was this one, and it was the dining room. That also just made me really upset, because I couldn't figure out what to put. Like, there's that back corner right there that I just didn't know what to put. And I, there, there were things that I usually add to my kitchens and stuff to make it look, I guess, more lively. And I had no space for them, or they were in a pack that I was using. And then this dining room, oh my goodness. I struggled with this. I didn't know what to put. I had to ask my mom for help. She had to come in and she was like, do you have any like cabinets and stuff? And let's see. And she kind of like helped me mess around with it and just to see if it looked good. I'm still kind of disappointed about the browns in the house. I think I used way too much. Like you, you'll see me at near the end of the video going back and like changing the colors of everything and like the swatches because I needed to like made it more, I needed to make it more brighter. Brighter? What is brighter? I needed to make it more brighter. If I could talk English, that would be awesome. Um But yeah. See like it was it, there, there's a lot of wood stuff being used in this room and I wasn't a fan. So yeah, I changed all the swatches from like the dark browns to the light browns and stuff and then this living room 
There was no space for everything that I wanted. I tried to fit the computer desk in the living room in the little corner by the couch, and it looked so bad. I changed it in the end. I moved the computer desk into the little front foyer area. See, I can't remember what those rooms are called. If you, if, if you know, please let me know in the comments what those rooms are called. They're like the, the little rooms that you have by the front door that like separate the front door area from the rest of the house. If you know what those rooms are called, please let me know. I like, I remember I used to use them all the time when I was explaining my houses to people. And now I can't remember for the life of me what they're called. But besides that, I moved, I ended up moving that computer desk in there. And does anyone else ever use the, um, what's her name? Not the Amazon Alexa, but what, what do they call her in The Sims? I don't know, whatever her name is. Do, does anyone ever use those? Because I, I recall only ever using it like once or twice. <laughs> that was it. And even then, I don't use it. Like, I'll put it in purely for decoration and then call it a day. I don't, th I don't use it. <laughs> it's a nice addition to have. I think it's pretty cool, but still, it's kind of useless to me. Yeah, and this front foyer area made me upset, too, because I couldn't figure out for the life of me what to put there either. And so finally, when I moved the computer desk, everything kind of started to work out. But originally, it did not look good. And I didn't put anything in this garage. Just like two pieces of workout equipment and I called it a day. <laughs> oh, and I think I put a stereo in there. Did I? Oh, and I put a mirror. Yeah, okay, I put a stereo too. Yeah. The upstairs goes by more quicker than the downstairs, I feel. Like, I know what I want to put when it comes to like the kids' rooms, and, like the like bedrooms and stuff. In the bathrooms, I always have like a set thing that I go for. So it's like the sink, the bathtub, the toilet, and then there's the mirror, there's a the towel rack, and there's the little toilet paper roll. And then I either put paintings or I put a light. I put like, I put up either paintings or a plant or, and then the lights. And that's it. <laughs> and I almost always go for either showers or the bath shower combination. I never go for baths. I find baths useless. <laughs> the only reason why we need them in The Sims is for toddlers. That's it. Otherwise, I don't... Oh, and then maybe for, like, the spa day stuff. To, like, take, like, a mud bath or a bath with, like, the petals in it or whatever. That's it. That's all we use those for. Mm. I, um, in terms of decorating and stuff, I try to go for the basics and I think that's why it annoyed me so much because I usually you know add clutter and make it like a, a family home and I, I I go very heavy with the decorating and the detail that I put into my builds and I guess in this one I just didn't and I was like mm, this doesn't feel right to me but I have to learn to stop adding so much in because not only is it too time consuming, it's unnecessary because I'm probably never going to play with them. Like, I build houses as if I was going to play in them. And I need to stop doing that. <laughs> but it's, it's time consuming. This house alone took me two hours to build. And it didn't need to. It could have taken me like an hour. Like, oh gosh, don't even get me started on like all the bigger houses that I'm doing. Um, for my save file that I'm, I'm making, the Miss Insanity Simming save file, um, there's this big house that I ended up making for one of my families, the St. Clair's. I haven't uploaded anything about them yet, but you'll, you'll see them. But I have this giant house in, like, the same area as the Goss house, and oh my goodness, I put unnecessary detail into that house, man. Like... Oh, jeez. It's unnecessary how much detail I put into that. And it th that house took me like six hours to make. And it did not need to. It could have taken me two to three hours max. Well, to be fair, the outside 
was difficult. I was struggling with the outside in terms of like roofing and stuff and making it look somewhat decent. <laughs> so there was that, but other than that, I, it, it was all the insides. <sighs> yeah. In the backyard, I kind of just went for what I usually go for. Uh, I added stuff to the porch though. So uh, made it look a little bit nicer. But no, just the barbecue, the little table set, and then the, um, that, yeah. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm coming to the end of the video here. The screenshots are coming up. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to hit the like button and click subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.